I am never, ever going to use a pen and paper ever again. Why? Because of this. An iPad Pro and the Apple Pen 2? Let's just say it's a dream come true. Why am I rhyming on these videos all of a sudden? Guess what? It's my birthday today. I'm 26 years old. I feel old. Let me set this up really quick. Perfect. What is up guys and welcome back to the John and Key channel. Thanks so much for watching. Yes, it is my birthday, October 15th, 2019. Well, 1993, it's just 2019. I was born in 93. You know this, duh. I, I don't feel old, old, but I feel old. It's a weird feeling because I'm, I was 25, now I'm 26. What does that mean for John and Q? Oh, whatever, let's just get into the video. All right, today's video is about this product, the Apple Pen. I keep saying Apple Pen, but it's the Apple Pencil 2. The Apple Pencil 2. In a previous video this month, I did an unboxing of the Apple Pencil 2. I will link it up here for you guys. I silently unboxed this pencil. It was actually really awesome. I got a lot of great feedback from that silent unboxing. People like ASMR, I don't know. And then I just kept watching it and watching it and I thought, okay, this is actually really soothing. Whoa, whoa. I can do that with it. Now I've been using this Apple Pencil with my iPad for like the last two to three weeks and it's been nothing but great. Like it's been nothing but like fantastic. When I say I'm never gonna go back to pen and paper, I'm being serious because there's no need for pen and paper again in this world. We're moving towards a digital age and that's an iPad with like the fact that I can write notes on this iPad be anywhere and everywhere and then all of a sudden just switch to a video or go and text you know x y and z person on my ipad all while taking notes and text that person with this pencil and search for videos with this pencil Pff, mind blown before then it was pen and paper i'd have to bring out my phone or my laptop text that person or find that video on my phone or laptop but now it can all be cohesive one-on-one -on -one, and it's just like boom Thanks, Apple. That's what we wanted. That's what we needed. That's what I needed. Let me clarify that this video is not an in-depth review, a technical review on the Apple Pencil. It's just my thoughts, my opinion, my experience with the Apple Pencil and the iPad together and how I use it. Just, just want to let you know. I feel like I'm here a lot, so let's, let's move scenery. Maybe down there. Oof. Take you with me. All right. All right, I have nothing bad to say about this product. I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of using this pencil. I guess we'll start with the cons. With the con, you really can't use this on your phone. It doesn't work. I can't slide up, I can't take notes. It doesn't work with my iPhone 10. Uh, this pencil does not work with previous iPad generations. I believe I have the iPhone, uh, not the iPhone, I have the newest iPad, not like the newest, newest in 2020, but the newest that came out this year or a year ago. Uh, it's 10 inches, I believe. And you also can't charge the Apple Pencil 2 with previous iPads. So the way you charge this pencil is by doing this. Okay, let me show you. Pencil, iPad. Oh, I need to charge it. Boom, there it is. Whereas the previous Apple Pencil, you'd have to take that little clip off and charge it within the actual iPad and that would take 15 to 20 minutes but you know I never got the original pencil just because of that I didn't want to charge it within my iPad what if I wanted to charge my iPad and use it at the same time it just wasn't going to work for me so that's why I waited I didn't think that they would update this pencil but they did and so the fact that I can just stick it on magnetically almost wirelessly charging it I mean, that's a breeze. That's all I ever need. I, literally, when I'm done using my pencil, I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna just place it on top. I'd rather just, whoa. I'd rather just like put it on the side and leave it there and I know that it's charging. That makes my life a whole lot easier. And I've found that my writing experience on this pencil and an iPad is almost as smooth as a pen and paper. Now, this is what I mean. I, side note, one really cool thing, if you have an iPad, if you just wanna like take really quick notes, take your Apple Pencil, you tap on the screen and there you go. 
you're ready to write without sliding it up with your finger and going to your app or going to your notes, whatever app you use to draw or write with, you can just tap it and you're ready to draw. You're ready to take notes on the fly. Honestly, one of the best features with this Apple Pencil. I freaking love it. It makes my note taking experience to the max, to the max. It just makes it so much better and makes it easier. I use an app called Notability. Now, I believe it did cost me $11. I think it was $11. Now, $11 is quite, it's quite the cash for an app, but this app is worth it, okay? I'm not gonna go into like deep review of the app, but essentially you can put folders, you, you can create folders, you can create notes within those folders and you can organize them the way you want to and all that good stuff. And it's really, 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 really good. <laughs> Without going into like much detail and depth of a review for the app. So overall, if you're looking for a substitute for note taking on pen and paper and you have an iPad and you're looking for an upgrade from your Apple Pencil number one, I would highly suggest Apple Pencil number two. Apple Pencil number one was just really thick and kind of like girthy and it almost didn't feel too good to write with and it felt like it was going to slip away or it was too glossy and it was almost too much for me. But with Pencil number two, it's a, like a flat matte finish and it's got this little edge, right? I don't know if you can see it, but let's see. This little edge, it cuts away where you can actually use it. Let me just show you. For example, I'm gonna take quick notes. I'll tap it to awake and my notes are there. I'll quickly start writing notes. Oh man, I messed up. All you have to do is double tap. That didn't work. Double tap and erase. That's all you have to do. You don't have to press erase here on top with your finger and then go and erase. You can just double tap to draw, double tap to erase easy as that and that in itself oh my gosh I thought someone was towing my car <laughs> honestly guys this is not a very technical pencil it's not like tech like pencils can be technical now this pencil is not a technical device to use at all it's very simple in what it does and what you can do with it again key features magnetically charged to the iPad key feature number two tap to wake and start making notes. Key feature number three, double tap, and you can, dang it, that never works. You double tap and you erase what, double tap and you erase what you just did. Like those things in itself will make your writing experience really, really good. As far as actually writing with the pencil, well you saw this intro, I mean it was very, very easy to work with. Very easy to use. As I write with the pencil, the harder that I write down, the bolder it is. The lighter I touch it with, the lighter the ink will be. Just like a real pencil, pen or paper. It's just as easy and real to write with as it would be with a real pen and paper. This setup right here has replaced my notebook and pen setup by any stretch of the imagination. Like, it's that easy and it's that simple. And I freaking love it. This is what, like 110 bucks or 120 bucks? This is a steal for what you're getting. Oh man, for what you're getting, it's just unbelievable. Now, I will say I don't know if I can actually break this like a real pen or pencil. I will not suggest it. I'm not gonna try. I'm just, I'm really happy about this pencil. I'm really happy about what it can do with my workflow to make it easier because I'm a creative. I'm always on the go. I'm taking notes. I'm making videos. I'm creating content. If I have something to jot down on the fly and it's gotta be like quick, boom, all right make this video, blah, 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 boom. Put it on there, put it in my backpack, I'm done. It, it's that simple. Another con, okay, just thought of a con. Just can't give this pencil to someone else and be like, hey, write with this, I have an extra pencil. So I do keep an extra pen or pencil in my backpack and an extra like small notebook. Not, not a big one, a thin notebook. Just in case someone needs a paper or I need to write down some notes to give to someone else, just in case. But I'm just saying, overall, this setup has replaced my everyday field notes. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you next time on the John and Q channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and liking. And if you're not new here, I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks again. I'm gonna go enjoy my birthday, my 26th birthday with my family. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on the John and Q channel. Boom, peace, 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 peace. Oh my gosh. I just remembered something. Tap to wake. Just easy as that. Now I have it in my notebook. Oh, I gotta watch a video. Boom, swipe up, video played. Oh wait, swipe over. Gotta take some notes. Boom. Easy as that. <laughs>